guys, it's Cece, and today I am going to talk about all of my favorite things from the month of September. I'm going to be talking about videos, movies, Funko Pops, activities in my life, and even one beauty product. I know, shocking, shocking for me. But let's just get into it. I want to talk about all my favorite stuff, and we are going to start out... Let's start out with videos, YouTube stuff. I want to talk about a couple of videos I really loved in the month of September, and the first of those was called The Adorkable Misogyny of the Big Bang Theory by Pop Culture Detective. I don't think I've made it a secret that I really don't like the Big Bang Theory, but if you didn't already know, now you do. I really don't like the Big Bang Theory. And I think this video breaks down one of the main reasons why. Not only does this video talk about the ways in which the Big Bang Theory excuses its male characters for their misogyny because they're dorks and therefore not traditionally masculine, it also talks about how we do that across pop culture. There's this tendency with nerdy male characters that they can get away with saying more problematic stuff if only because they're nerds and so it's just for some reason perceived as less terrible. Like if a man is perceived as more effeminate than when he makes sexist comments, it's just coming from a place of hurt. Some of the scenes that are talked about from the Big Bang Theory in this video like disgusted me, but honestly it is a super fascinating discussion of this and the larger issues in pop culture in regards to these characters, I highly recommend this video. And the other video I want to talk about is a video essay called The Complex Feels of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 by Lindsay Ellis. Lindsay Ellis is one of my absolute favorite people on YouTube. She constantly does super fascinating video essays on movies. I just adore her. But this is the only video of hers that I've ever watched that made me tear up. Lindsay has a reputation for being more cynical in her discussions of the media that she consumes, and I love it. I love her biting sarcasm when she talks about film, but this video was really emotional. She talks about the things that weren't so strong about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and also discusses the really intense emotional connection she had to the movie, considering that she lost her father just over a year ago. This video perfectly captured my feelings on the highs and lows of this movie. I love Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, but I have issues with it that she points out, plus she breaks down some stuff that I loved about the movie but couldn't put into words. If you liked Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I recommend I recommend this video, plus I recommend Lindsay Ellis's channel. She makes such great content. A channel that I found in September that I really want to recommend is Musical Theater Mash. It's run by a great guy named Tommy. Tommy talks about stage musicals, about movie musicals, and there are so many different types of great videos that he does. I originally found him through a video called Great Songs from Musicals You've Never Heard Of. I also really loved a video he did where he ranked various performances of The Witch from Into the Woods. I love the way Tommy talks about theater. These are super informative and, like, honestly educational. So much stuff that I have learned about the history of theater by watching some of his videos. So if you also love musical theater, then I recommend that you go check out Musical Theater Mash great content over there as well. Next I want to talk about a couple of music favorites, and the first thing I want to talk about is Dodie Clark's new EP, You. This isn't super new, it came out a couple of months ago, but I just listened to it on repeat in September. I love Dodie so much. She has a phenomenal YouTube channel where she talks about her life, mental health, sexuality, and a ton of other stuff, but I originally found Dodie for her music, and Would You Be So Kind, which is a song I fell in love with months ago when she posted it on her channel, is on this EP, and I love it with, like, more instruments. I also love the song In the Middle. It's super upbeat. Six out of ten makes me really emotional. I love Dodie, and I have been listening to her EP constantly, and I recommend that you do so as well. Another playlist I want to talk about is a Spotify playlist that I found. It is a Raven Cycle playlist. Shocking that I've been looking into those, but it is called A Summer Searching for a King. I found it's really difficult to find Raven Cycle playlists that feel like they have the mood of the series, and this is my favorite one that I found, if only because it matches my personal taste in music so well. I had so many of these songs I loved already, and I got to add some new ones to that mix, plus some of them I would be listening and my jaw would just kind of drop because I'd be like, that's perfect. I understand exactly why this song is on this playlist. So yeah, if you have been on the search for a Raven Cycle playlist, I recommend this one. It is quite good. Honestly, even if you don't like the Raven Cycle or you've never read it, 
this is a really good list of music, so just check it out anyway. Let's talk about a couple of TV shows that I loved in September. First of all, I've gotta talk about So You Think You Can Dance. So You Think You Can Dance is arguably my favorite show on television, despite the fact that it's a reality show. I have been watching it since season two. This was season 14. That's a lot of years watching a show. The finale happened just barely at the end of September, and I was so happy. The person that I wanted to win almost from the beginning won, and it was it was so worth it. It was so good. I just think there's so much passion and creativity in So You Think You Can Dance. I am a dancer, or I used to be, and so I love being able to still be a part of that world, if only by watching people dance. A couple of the choreographers won Emmys this year for their choreography. It was well-deserved. Plus, Mandy Moore, she choreographed La La Land. She has been choreographing for So You Think You Can Dance for years, and she did some amazing work this season. Season. So did Travis Wall. They both deserved their Emmys. Also, Keone and Mari were choreographing. They are an amazing choreographer couple here on YouTube if you want to watch more of their dances. I watched them in two dance shows this summer because I watched them choreograph on So You Think You Can Dance, but I also watched them compete in World of Dance, and they should have won that. I've gotten off track. I love So You Think You Can Dance, and I have since I was a child. I did absolutely hate Vanessa Hudgens this season, though. She, she should not have been a judge. It was bad call, and let's all just cross our fingers that if the show comes back next year, she is not a part of it. The other show I want to talk about is a new one that I watched the entirety of in like two days, and that is The Good Place. It feels like this show is kind of on an incline. Since it came back for season two, I've seen more and more people mentioning it, and that makes me really happy. The show is about a woman named Eleanor, and she wakes up, and she has died. And she is informed that the afterlife is comprised of a good place and a bad place, and she has made it to the good place. She later reveals that there has definitely been a mistake, as she is not the Eleanor everyone thinks she is, and she probably shouldn't be in the good place at all. The show is full of quirky characters who become a family, which is my favorite trope of all. It was created by Mike Schur, who also created Parks and Recreation and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This guy creates such good TV. And since I've also been binge-watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine recently and re-watching Parks and Recreation, The Good Place is just like a perfect fit to get in here. These are all such feel-good, happy shows with characters with these deep emotions and relationships that you care about. I have not started watching season two of The Good Place yet, but I'm sure it's going to be really, really good because the first season was really awesome. Like I said, I have a beauty favorite to talk about, and it is this little thing right here. So this is Concealer Twins by Physicians Formula, and I bought this because both my concealer and my anti-redness cream were by L'Oreal. And I found out some stuff about L'Oreal in September I, I was not too pleased about, so I wanted to replace both of them, and I found this thing, and it comes with both! So you've got the anti-redness on one side, and each one comes with just like a little application brush. This has been perfect for me. It replaced both of the products I loved, perfectly. I love the application tool, and I'm such a fan of the fact that it comes in a two-pack. It makes everything easier. The next thing I want to talk about is moderately out of nowhere, but it's a favorite, so here we go. It's this cute little bag! So, my sister gets Ipsy, which is like a monthly makeup subscription service, and every Ipsy comes with a little makeup bag. If you get Ipsy regularly, you end up with too many makeup bags! So my sister gets the makeup, and I get my pick of bags. Yes, I have a lot of them. This is my favorite. So first of all, obviously it is witchy, which is my thing, but it is perfect for holding all of my pens for my bullet journal. Like all of my black pens and my pencils and my measuring tool, they all fit in here just really, really, really well. And I'm really glad that I am benefiting from my sister's subscription service. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all of these bags from Ipsy though. I have also more than I could ever hope to use. I got four new Funko Pops in the month of September. One of them I purchased at Comic-Con and the other three I got on a deal. Uh, it was like buy two get one free at a store that I go to and I had some store credit. So I got some Funko Pops. So first up we have Jessica Jones. You have probably seen her just bobbing behind me because she sits by Matt Murdock. Jessica Jones is my favorite of the Marvel Netflix shows. I just think it is so good. And I think she's really cute with her scarf and her hoodie and her boots. I love Jessica and I love, I still love that the Marvel Funko Pops bobble. I also got a new Harry Potter Funko Pop. 
And that is Luna Lovegood with her lion head. I already had Luna Lovegood just in regular Hogwarts gear, but I've wanted something that said Luna a bit more than that one. Sadly, I couldn't get the Comic-Con exclusive with her in the glasses. That would have been perfect but I love Lionhead Luna. The amount of detail on this pop is incredible. Like you've got her face, but also like the back of the sculpt and the whole mane is beautiful. Her clothing is super detailed. Overall, I think she is a lovely addition to my Harry Potter Funko Pop family. And the last two we're going to do together because they are from the same thing, and that is Sam and Frodo from Lord of the Rings. So I bought these separately actually. Frodo came from that deal at my local store and Samwise is the one who came from Comic-Con, but I really wanted both of them and I'm glad that they get to be together. It was kind of sad for a week when Frodo was on his own. I think these pops are super cute. I like their hairy feet. Samwise glows in the dark, which is fantastic. These have also prompted me, I really want to rewatch all of the Lord of the Rings. I haven't rewatched the series since I got a Lord of the Rings tattoo and I feel like I'm failing somehow. And before I put him away, look at the pots and pans on Samwise's back. It's so cute. The last three things I want to talk about in this favorites video are all related to stuff that happened in my life that was just a favorite because it's stuff that happened to me. First of all, so I posted an original song this month. It was called Watch Buffy With Me. It is just a nerdy love song about wanting to watch Buffy with the person that you love. But I was partially inspired to write that song by a podcast I adore called Buffering the Vampire Slayer. It is run by two incredible ladies, Jenny Owen Youngs and Chris and Russo. They're married. Yes. And they have a weekly podcast where they discuss Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which has been a favorite of mine since last year. It's been a year since Buffering the Vampire Slayer started. And when I posted the song, they retweeted it. And it was basically all of my dreams come true. I just wanted to share that because it made my day. Another favorite thing in September was that I was at Salt Lake Comic Con and I did so much cool stuff there. My fantastic friends Brian and Paige invited me to come along. They have a booth every year and so I got to experience Comic Con from behind a booth, which I highly recommend. Sitting behind a booth at Comic Con was this really fantastic experience where you would just say that you loved someone's cosplay or their shirt and they would come up and talk to you about whatever it is that you both loved. I didn't have a single bad experience. I talked to so many people about the way that they made their cosplay, a thing that they were super excited about. It was just an experience full of so much passion about stuff and it made me feel better about humans in general. My friend Paige, by the way, is a wonderful artist that you can follow on various places. She goes by Pop Culture Artisan, so you can follow her on Instagram, on DeviantArt. I will leave links to her stuff down in the description below. Paige and Brian are two of my absolute best friends. I was the maid of honor at their wedding, and it was really cool because we all go to conventions, but we've never done one together, so I really liked being able to do a convention with them. Plus, I got to cosplay all three days, and that was pretty fun too. And my final favorite thing about September is that I hit 25,000 subscribers! Ah, you guys! I appreciate so much the people who care about the content that I make on here, and hitting that point was just like a really, really big deal. So if you are a new subscriber or an old subscriber, thanks for sticking around. You were all my favorite part of September. Thanks! Okay, there you go. Those are all of my favorite things from the month of September. I hope you enjoyed hearing all about them. What were a few of your favorite things in the month of September, whether that's a book or a movie or a show or just a thing that happened? Let me know down in the comments below. What did you think of some of my favorite stuff from September? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!